Hi friends. I was thinking about this story about parenting that Dylan Michael White told a couple weeks ago. And, you know, having a, a senior who is graduating this year, we are beginning all of the lasts. And that song, You're Gonna Miss This, um, is kind of a constant refrain. Um, oftentimes it's my 18 year old when she's trying to get me to let her do something I'm not really thrilled about, reminding me that she will be leaving soon and how much I will miss her. But it's one of those refrains, you know, when kids are little, you know, kids don't keep, you're going to miss this, this is going to pass and you won't have it anymore. I think it's something that, that parents of little ones can feel a tremendous amount of guilt over. There's a lot of things in parenting that are really hard. And when your child is on the floor, pitching a fit in Target, having a really hard moment, when the kitchen is on fire with dishes and kids and all the things that need to be done, you're not going to miss it actually. There are moments of parenting you are not going to miss and it is okay to recognize that. But what the story that he was telling was to, to kind of flip that idea on its head. He was talking about when his child was sick and in the middle of the night calling dad and, and him being able to go in there and comfort that child. Now, there are moments in the middle of the night where we are not our best and where we're thinking, oh, please God, just let them go back to sleep. Or when they wake up one time thinking, oh my goodness, how many times am I gonna be up tonight? I need sleep, I have things to do. We are human and it is hard. And I think being able to recognize what we are able to provide as a parent and what that child is going to miss is such an incredible way to think about it. That that child can call out mom or dad or grandma and that you show up, that they know you are going to be there and that your presence alone, if they're sick, you, you aren't going to cure them, but that your presence will make it better, that you will show up and they will know they are not alone. And that at some point, possibly, they will call you and you will no longer be there, that you will no longer be able to help in the same way, and that they will miss that. That we all have those moments with our parents, with our grandparents, where we wish that we could call one more time and we wish that they would be there. I know I still call my mom quite frequently and she still shows up and helps. But recognizing what we can provide, those moments of safety, that when they are sick, we will be there. When they have a scary dream, that, that comfort of climbing into bed, that, that we will be there with open arms. And thinking about how I think God feels that way too. I think God completely adores us. And I think that it delights God to know that God will be there with open arms always. And that we can recognize that no matter what we need, we are not alone. That we can call out when we are sick, when we are lonely, when we are sad, when we are delighted. Oh, God and God will be there. And I think that God just completely delights in knowing that and that we know that that is always, always gonna be there. So parents, if you are in the middle of it with little ones, I just want to remind you, it is okay to not love every second of it. You're not going to miss every second of it. I delight in my full nights of sleep now. It is okay to not like every second. And it is a gift to recognize the things as a parent that we get to be to our children. And I think God delights that God gets to be that for us as well. Have a good week, friends.